Traditions, customs and religious processions are common in many countries and although they are completely normal to natives, to outsiders they can seem a little bit crazy. No before you go! Number 1. Teeth in the UK and the US, when a child loses a tooth, the tooth fairy takes it away, replacing it with a gift, usually money. In Spain and France, a similar thing happens, but the tooth fairy is actually a mouse, called the good little mouse or the little mouse Perez. In Jamaica, the tooth fairy is also a rodent called Rata Rata. In the Middle East, the tooth is thrown into the sky, so the sun will grant the child a brighter smile with a new tooth. In Greece, they throw the tooth onto the roof for good luck. And in in China, India, Korea and Vietnam, only the lower teeth are thrown onto the roof for good luck. The upper teeth are placed on or under the ground so that the new tooth will grow straight and true. Number 2. Pomlazka the Czechs have an odd custom that supposedly improves a woman's luck, fertility and health for the upcoming year. Every Easter, young men braid whips from willow branches and tie ribbons on them. Then on Easter Monday, they go round the village whipping the girls' legs and buttocks and singing a song which roughly translates as Feast, feast, give me a painted egg. If you don't have a painted one, give me a white one instead and then the hen will bring you an egg again. Number 3. Kanamara Festival in Japan, they also have a fertility custom. The Kanamara Festival is held every year in spring at the Kanayama Shrine in Kawasaki, Japan. Kanamara Matsuri translates as Festival of the Steel Phallus. And every year there are processions with three different portable shrines. The Kanamara Boat Mikoshi, which is a roof shrine on a boat with a shiny black steel penis inside. The Kanamara Mikoshi, which has a square base and a roof with a wooden penis inside. And the Elizabeth Mikoshi which is just a large pink penis tied to a platform. This fertility festival offers penis and vulva shaped candy for you to suck on, daikon radishes to carve penises out of and a whole range of genitalia themed goods to buy from keychains to candles. Number 4. Pushers the Japanese people in general are very honourable. They avoid offending others and respect each other's personal space. However, Japan's subway system, like every subway system in the world, is crowded and left to their own devices, the Japanese would respect each other's personal space and the trains would leave half empty. This would make the system impunctual and inefficient. To overcome the problem, the subway system employs people they call pushers. Their job is to guide, push and jam as many people into the trains as possible, increasing the number of passengers on each train and improving the system's efficiency. Number 5. Falaka Falaka is a light-hearted tradition from South Korea. During a wedding, the friends and family of the groom will make him lie down on the floor or on a table and take his shoes and socks off. Next, they take it in turns to beat the soles of his feet with dried fish while someone asks him questions. This custom is supposed to prove that he is worthy to take his bride home with him and strong enough to endure the night ahead of them. Number 6. Año Nuevo in Spain, it is customary to welcome the new year by wearing red underwear for luck. At midnight, as the clock chimes, they try to eat one grape per chime. That's 12 grapes in 12 seconds. And those that achieve this will have good health and be full of grapes. After eating the grapes, they then make a toast, putting something made of gold into their glass of kava to ensure prosperity in the following year. Number 7. La Batalla del Vino Spain is also known for its San Fermin bull running festival and for its Tomatina tomato fight festival. But a festival you might not have heard of is La Batalla del Vino, taking place on the 29th of June in Haro, La Rioja. After days of festivities, over 10,000 people dressed in white participate in the wine battle. More than 100,000 litres of red wine are fired from hoses, buckets, crop sprayers and water pistols until everyone's clothes are purple. Number 8. Procreation Day 
In Russia, the 12th of September is a national holiday called Conception Day. In 2005, in an effort to increase Russia's alarmingly low birth rate, the government invented Conception Day. The general public is given time off work in order to go home and procreate. Anyone who has their baby exactly nine months after on the 12th of June enters a drawer where they can win anything from a washing machine to a SUV. Number 9. Kalha Kalunta Kalha means beer and Kelunta means floating. So Kalha Kelunta is a beer floating festival that has been taking place since 1997. Every year, either on the last weekend of July or the first weekend of August, thousands of people make a raft, pump up an inflatable or just grab anything that floats, load it full of beer and float over five kilometers down the Kerava Vantar River. Kalha Kelunta started with a group of 10 friends just deciding one day to float down the river whilst drinking some beers. Now, now, 25 years later, and it has grown into an event that is attended by over 5,000 people a year. It even has an after party. Number 10. Tipping. In Japan, leaving any sort of tip is actually considered to be rude. The products or services you've received are already included in the price, and paying more is just silly. This one actually makes sense if you really think about it. I mean, a restaurant owner that refuses to pay their employees a decent wage isn't really good publicity for the restaurant itself, is it? And a system where the client has to encourage the employee to do a good job is just ridiculous. Imagine paying for university and then having to tip your professor so they actually teach you something. Which custom do you think was the craziest? Comment below.